Hello and welcome to Freeview. I am Arty Dubbing and today we are looking at Duelist. This is a game made by some of the people behind Chapter 3 apparently and Rogue Legacy. I guess Rogue Legacy you can see a bit in the graphics and Chapter 3 you might be able to, I don't know, see in a combat? No, that doesn't make any sense. I don't really recognize any Diablo-ish thingies in this game, except of the resemblance of Hearthstone, I guess. It doesn't. The gameplay doesn't resemble Hearthstone, but a lot of the menus and concepts of the things they have in the game resemble Hearthstone, and I will get into that. Uh, let's just get into that right now, actually. The collection right here is where you build your deck. This is a deck building game, a CCG, I guess it's called. And you have to collect cards to be able to get better decks and get more cards by investing in spirit orbs. I right now have uh, a lot of gold, oh, 300 gold, 200 gold now. I can buy three packs, but let's just buy one. And right here you can see a pretty big resemblance to Hearthstone in that you open it and you put it into a box and it, the pack then opens. You cannot open more packs at once. But unlike Hearthstone, you can already... Actually, Hearthstone, you can see what the rarity of the card is going to be. But you cannot see it as clearly as you can in this game. So let's open all the... Not rare cards. <laughs> and open the common cards, of course. And open the rare cards. And you can see every card have an S have different uh, abilities. And it's pretty good at explaining actually what the different kind of stuff does. Like flying means that you can move all over the battlefield. But that doesn't really make that much sense to talk about when we haven't played a game yet. Um, so let's. Yeah, also a thing I wanted to show is that you can craft in this game like Hearthstone. So they have taken a lot of the good things from Hearthstone into this game. And that's pretty great. And you also got Crest like Hearthstone. Oh, I haven't completed the daily challenge yet. Let's do that in a second. And in here we have a profile. You can see how it's gone in the last couple of seasons. You can see what your faction level is. As you can see, I've only really played as one faction. And you can here see what your level is in this season and all of the rest of the seasons. And you need here, you can see replays of your previous matches and your win streak. Actually, I think you can see all your games. It might stop at some point. I don't know. In the armory, you can buy the spirit orbs and emotes. So they also earn money from, from not for only from spirit orbs, but you can also buy cosmetics like these emotes, but I guess. You also can do it at Hearthstone, but they have a lot and they seem pretty expensive to me. Or maybe it's because I'm looking at the epic ones. Still pretty expensive, but if you want one, then you can buy them. And you can also buy some profile icons if you want to look different. And card packs and general skins. But let's get into the generals in a second. Okay, so in your collection you can make a new deck and when you're making a new deck you have to choose from a general and each, each of these generals have different skills which is kind of like the hero power in Hearthstone. I guess this is a general power, Bloodborne spell as they're called. And so if I wanted to go with this faction which must be the Vichurian, you can see all the faction names up here. And I hope that they are categorized by that they are in the same order as up there. I don't really know. But I don't know how else to recognize the different factions. So I now chose this one. Oh, this is one apparently the Sun Gun. So I can make a deck out of these cards, which are my Sun Gun cards and neutral cards like in Hearthstone. So I can also, of course, see what my kind of card, what different kinds I have. And the one means that it's a new card that I've gotten in this thingy, like this. I got this new card for my Vana decks. And the other thing means that I got a new Lorbit 
for the hero. So you can read about a lot of lore, and there's a lot of lore in this game. And that's not really for me, but I guess some people like it. I don't really need it at all, but as you can see, there's a lot of lore in here. That you can go through however you want to, and the more you play, the more you unlock. I've almost unlocked all, all of it, but not, but not all of it yet. I guess so. If you try click one, you can see in the second one, person begins to speak. Please. The age of disjunction. Thousands of years before the dawn. Okay. He's fairly slow at speaking, so let's not go through this. But you can get somebody to read it for you if you don't want to read it yourself. And in here we have a map. So they seem to have done a lot to the law. I don't know how good it is though. But there's a lot. So hopefully it's good. Oh yeah, and sometimes you get mystery crates. But these it seems like you can only buy these keys for money. So this one is ten dollars and I don't wanna really do that. Oh yeah, this is a game that had been kickstarted and it did one at $68,000? Yeah, that's right. But it got to $137,000. So it did pretty well. It got more than double of what it wanted. Just exactly double of what it wanted, if I am not wrong in my math. Yeah, it did. And that's awesome, because this game really seems good. You can also watch matches. You can see who's live on stream, Steam right now. Grinch and Envy Bay, good job dudes, and you can see bronze matches, this is just replays, and you can see like the best players, Uno Pro, and you can see those guys play the game if you want to, that's pretty great in my opinion just to learn something, um, let's actually just try and do this quickly, just to show one feature. Sadly, you cannot really. I don't know what this means. I haven't understood it yet, but it doesn't matter. But I don't think you can. Like, uh, you don't have a bar where you can skip forward in the video, like you do on the YouTube, sadly. But you can, like, make it double space. And I would like you to be able to just skip very much forward in a match instead of just this but yeah that is the play thingy majingy whatever you want to say um yeah i guess that's most of these menus we could just quickly look at the options actually settings and here you have pretty decent settings for this game uh, i don't know <laughs> it uh, kind of there is not a lot to say for me about this. You have some game settings, which is always great to have that. I would actually, in this place, it's a bit better than Hearthstone. But I should not compare too much to Hearthstone. You have the practice mode, which you have to play through to unlock all of these classes. When you challenge one, you unlock the class. So if you do that in the start of when you just play, in play the game, or you don't if you don't want to. And here we have different challenges, which you can go into and you will learn about a mechanic. Like, let's try one. And in this one, we will learn about the mechanic opening gambit. Uh, use opening gambit to defeat the abuser in one turn. So, this is probably pretty easy, maybe. Maybe it isn't. Let's. Opening Gambit just basically means that... Oh, I get it. Uh, basically means that you can do something in the first turn. It's like... It's like a battle cry in Hearthstone. Most of these I've done so far seems fairly easy. And that's always great. Oh, oh yeah, you get gold from these. It's pretty good. But this is only in the start, and you can see I've only done like a couple of the first two, and they were pretty easy. 
and they will get harder and harder the further you get up. But the reward isn't any bigger. There's also some kind of secret achievements in this game. Uh, I don't know if they are secret, but I just can't find them. And sometimes you just will get gold. Okay, let's just quickly look at this quest. This is like the other thing where you have one turn to defeat the enemy general and you have to figure out a way to do it. Uh, who's the general here? Oh, he's down here. Right. So it's actually it says so it is. This minion right here got rebirth. Well, do I have to choose an enemy minion? It cannot longer counter attack. Okay. Deal 2 damage with the open gamut. Deal 2 damage to all minions in the area. 3 free friendly minions in the area also gain plus 2 attack. So that seems pretty important. Deal a friendly damage minion plus 2 attack and plus 4 health. I feel like I need some kind of spell that can. I can only. You can only move your minion once. So. You have to not you have to I have to kill those before I think. Oh deal two damage to all million in area of three feet. That's not enough. Hmm. Oh, what is my hero power? Let's give my general I don't think this will work. But if I give him free plus attack, you can see now it doesn't really look that much. Oh, these are my minions. Well, I'm making a huge mistake then. I kind of still want this one to die, and it will die. Okay. If I do it here, I don't know really why I would do it there, but why not? Oh, they have rebirth. Hmm. That kind of sucks. <laughs> I think, because I'm not going to be able to do anything. Oh. That also doesn't work. Uh, you then has plus one attack. Oh, so maybe I should get rid of that. But okay, you get that. Just I have to try and complete this in one turn, and it's a pretty hard puzzle most of the time. I usually like spend fifteen minutes to figure them out. So let's not do that right now. Oh, oh, and I also have a quest to comp win, play. Play for okay, play for game with them, and you have to be in the match for a while to be able to do it. Uh, this is just the normal lettering, so let's just try a match, a normal match right here with my Lionheart deck. I made this myself. I'm not really that confident in it, but uh, it might be pretty decent. I love this commentator. It's pretty cool to do the start to the match. And so right here, like in Hearthstone, you have two mulligans, I guess. You can replace two cards. And so I wanna replace those two. Okay, so the player on the left, he will always start, and he will start with two mana. And the player on the right, he will start with three mana. Always. And these uh, orbs in the middle is give you one extra mana when you place a minion on them. Uh, and over here you can have the battle lock if you want to see what different thing does. Whenever you cast a spell, deal one damage to the enemy general. And those three means that it have free durability. And it loses durability whenever the hero loses... Uh, whenever the hero loses self. So this minion I just played over here, it got provoke, which means that it 
basically have taunt. So if I go near any minion, it will not be able to move and only be able to attack this minion. And it also has seal, which means that when it's close to my general standing in one of the squares next to it, the diagonal squares also counts as next to it, so it will get plus two. But I need to keep this close to my general. And my general like, got a hero power, which gives a minion that is nearby him plus two attack fall two times. It doesn't say here. But it doesn't matter. Maybe it is actually forever. He got a, a Bloodborne, which... What? Your opponent's build? Your opponent's Bloodborne? Oh, I don't know. Can I see what it does? I can see what... Oh, he can teleport. Teleport is pretty good to get away from things. This many down here have flying, which means that it can go everywhere on the screen. But like in Hearthstone, you can use your minions on the first turn. Oh, so he's going to deal free to that and run to my hero. And he's trying to escape from me, I think. Or maybe you can see what he's kind of trying to do. I think I want to get closer to him right now. And also get that and I want to summon this one in behind because I kind of need him to win. Oh, and over here. Uh, I do, it's just wondering if that could... No, I don't want to lose any of my cards. But this over here is... Every turn you can choose to replace a card from your hand and get a, get a new one. This one got an opening gambit, which means that if I place it next to a minion, I can deal two damage to it on the first turn. He went in for my taunt, and you win by killing the other, your opponent's general. Um, oh, I, I don't really have any quick cards to play right now. So let's try and replace this and see if we can get anything better. Uh, that's actually pretty good, I think. Just because right now I can like do this. And give that 3 plus 5. This actually can like hit the general, but I right now can win. I'm kind of irritated that you can put decks in closer to each other, but that's just, I guess that's just me that's irritated about that. So you can see every time you hit someone, they will attack back no matter what. You can exhaust them, except for some spells. Um, I should not play this yet. I kind of want to conceal that I have these cards. Yeah, I need to. And as you can see, you have like a certain amount of time to do your turn. I don't know how long, but at some point it will go away. If he hits that now, then he loses his Blood Rage Mask. Because every time he takes damage, he loses it. He just attacked with that, right? Oh, great. That's fine. I'm like one damage away from winning right now. Because these uh, give my minion... Am I one damage away? Yeah, I am. Okay. These minions give plus the attack of the health, so I can give this minion uh, f 5 plus 13 and plus this spell. I be able to give 15 and I have those damage over there so I actually have quite a lot of damage and because he can fly he can go wherever he wants on the screen and right now I just want to like get rid of these mana thingies so he cannot take care of them I want to replace this because I'm not going to use that and exactly you cannot hit the hero with that spell otherwise I would have it would have looked pretty well for me it already does look pretty well for me. Um, I don't think I should use this. You can see it's on a, you have a cooldown. If I use it, so I wouldn't be able to use it the next time. Just got another provoke minion. It's pretty okay. I really hope that he will try and hit me somehow. 
Oh yeah, you also have the Dying Wish Scats, which basically just triggers when it dies. So it's like, uh, what, what is called Death Rattle in Hearthstone. They're taking a lot of inspiration. Also, you get one mana per turn. I didn't say that before, I just realized. And so that also is pretty much like Hearthstone. So there's a lot of inspiration by Hearthstone. You can only have six cards on your hand. You see how many cards your opponent have up here. And you see how many cards you have left in his deck. And you, of course, you get your cards in the start of your turn. No, in the end of your turn, I'm sorry. Instead of the start of your turn. Which I guess you can think of what you want to. Oh, I can use that on... Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Doesn't matter though, because I still have my hero. Oh, he conceded. All right, he has also lost. But yeah, that is that's the basic gist of the game. Oh, I get a new reward in another match for some reason. And yeah, I grew a rank. I don't know if you can go down ranks. I would hope you can, but I still haven't done it. Even though I've lost a couple of matches. So yeah, I guess there's only one last thing to talk about, and that is the gauntlet. I still haven't played a gauntlet, but I, I have one for free because I haven't played it. But it said that it normally costs 150 gold, I guess. I don't know what the currency is called in this game. Oh, gold. Great. That's nice. So this is just basically... The Brawl, I guess. It's not called Brawl in Hearthstone, is it? The Arena in Hearthstone. And you have to choose between free faction, like in Hearthstone. I... And free cards in Heart like in Hearthstone. So... That is fairly simple, I guess. And you can only choose 30 cards, and I already chose a leader, I thought. Maybe not. Uh, let's just go through these cards and see if we will get any funny abilities. I like having people flying, but I don't know what's good yet. Uh, oh! Oh, this is a ring. He has a ring ability, but not. A, uh, it's not a ring card. Uh, this one has a dying wish, so I draw a card, and this one is another flying one. Uh, let's try that. Just to force the range attacks. Oh, and you can see up here which cards you have picked. I don't know. Oh, unlike Cardstone in this game, you can actually pick three cards instead of two cards. But in my general opinion, this is a pretty good game. It takes a lot of the good things out of Hearthstone and makes a kind of whole new gameplay by instead of just being a card game, it is actually a game that is based on a chessboard kind of concept where you have to move your figures around uh, deal one damage to all generals frenzy what does frenzy do frenzy when at attack in melee range simultaneously strike all other nearby enemies oh so the frenzy is crazy AOE that sounds pretty good but it was also pretty expensive uh, Whenever you replace the card, this minion gains plus two attack this turn. Oh, that is actually seems pretty great. Give a friendly minion for two. If that minion has backstab, draw a card at the end of the turn. Backstab is basically attacking from behind and that will deal extra damage. That's pretty great. You also have. I don't. I don't really care about all this. Can I go back? <laughs> I'm sorry. I want to look at my collection instead and see if we have some interesting cards here. Frenzy airdrop means that you can drop it wherever you want. Otherwise, you can normally only drop Dominion in the adjacent squares. Flying airdrop range. Range means that you can attack from everywhere on the screen. Press is basically you can move immediately, like this, and attack. Uh, force field, I don't know what it is. Cancel the first 
damage taken each turn. Oh, so that's a pretty strong defensive card. Uh, opening gambit. Great, great, great. Flying, flying, opening. Dying Witch. I'm looking for Death Watch. Don't have any Death Watch cards. It doesn't look like it. What about in here? Oh yeah, you can also stun minions for one turn. That's also pretty good. Infiltrate. Oh yeah, when it's on the opponent's it's, uh, field, it will gain plus two attack. But yeah, so it it dies quite a lot from cannons in this game, and I don't at all understand the meta yet. I've played this game for five or six hours, I guess, and it's I really like it. And I think you should really give it a go. It's free to play. It's just coming out of on Steam today, so fairly accessible. So yeah, go and play a duelist. It's great. And thank you for watching. Bye bye.